Hello everyone, it is Anthony Anthony Gamer here, and today you are going to watch me playing Mind in Despair. Oh my goodness, we have been waiting for so long, so long from this developer named Enox Games or Francisco Silva to make another game, which is this one. He also made another one, Forsake the Asylum. And we're going to play that next video. So we're going to start the game. Start from level one. Mm -hmm. It has been so long we haven't played this developer's games already. So we're going to get straight to it. All right. First of all, we are on a boat, getting to an some sort of a abandoned island. All right. So here we are, landed into an island. Will there be anyone here that is staying here? No, look at that. There's a windmill. Mm. All right. Not too shabby. We're going to get into that cottage. Whoa. Who ruined my boat? Whoever did that will pay. Probably the shark. Or maybe it would be that sea monster. Maybe he will make a return to this one. All right, before we get to the cottage or the house, we're going to get up here. Can we get up here? Oh, we cannot climb out the stairs or the ladder because we can't. Maybe we're being too tired. We're going to get inside the house. Level one completed. All right, moving on to level number two. Now, where are we? We are still in the same place. All right, good. Okay, the windmill is still there. And a windmill. Oh, this is just a tank of water. All right, then. Mm, now, what should we do? Should we just go back to the place right there? Wait, I saw someone. Look at that. Who do you think that is? Hopefully he's not such a bad guy. Hello? Whoa! Are you insane? I'm going to go jump into it too. Oh, I can't. Uh, what should I do? And he just disappeared. I hope he's okay. <laughs> if he wasn't, then... Such a bad turn to do something that might going to be full but yourself. At right, least I have to go back. Hey, I'm right here. Hello, YOLO. I'm here. Oh, you just gonna ignore the person. Very bad. Maybe he just doesn't care. Man. Alright then. Nobody's appearing, right? Let's go back in. It was strange. We saw a man diving into the water like he wants to do some sort of finding foods in the sea. Or he wants to suicide. Hopefully, hopefully not the second option. This sort of reminds me of Slenderman. Can we actually go to find Slenderman in here? What was that? I heard someone. He's crying out loud. Maybe that was Slenderman trying to torture some people. Holy moly, I need to get out. Hmm. Whoa. All right, then. Good thing. Good thing I wasn't too quick. So that I wouldn't get stuck to the tree, just like Aaron. I already watched the film. Oh, all right, then. I managed to watch the whole thing, but yet I can still that thrill effect. All right, let's see what we got here. A dead man. Is this the man that we saw from the beach? I mean, from the beach. I mean, not the, from the beach. It's like that place. I, I don't know the place where you left on the boat. All right, level four. We are teleported back to our house. Well, the our safety zone. Hmm. Oh look, 
it looks like there's a boat there. Oh wait, never mind. Oh, that was a dead body. Oh, I thought that was a boat, but... Oh my goodness, what happened? Yo, it's moving. Oh my goodness. Can I do anything with it? Oh, I can go through it. Maybe it's my... It's just uh, hallucinations. Look at that big giant boat. Oh, I thought he's going to crash my house. Just like that scene from Angry Birds movie. Oh, dang it, Leonard. You just did not saw me again, did you? Alright, you just... They're just gonna left us here. We are going to be abandoned. Nobody's going to rescue this woman. Or man. Ooh, I can dive in now. Where do you think I should go? Where do we think we should go? Let's go down here. Oh, we can't. It's the limit. Alright, alright, alright. Um, still not figuring out what to do. But the good thing is that we can actually now get into the water. Good thing we can swim. Maybe our next step to go back to the house. Alright, let's get back to the house. We saw that there's a dead man on the tree. Someone's screaming! I must help him! Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. Where are you? Help? Okay, I'll give you help. Who are? Who is that? It looks like I'm in a canyon. Oh man, this all makes sense now why I watched the movie 127 hours. This all makes sense. Aaron, is that you? I'm going to find you. Trust me, it's just a reference. So it's not all part of it. Where are you? I'm going to find you. Hopefully later on you don't cut your arm in the alternate universe. I good thing there's a water. You know, you've been dumped in here like five days. Oh. Whoa. It's just like Titanic. This is not all about Aaron Ralston or James Franco, but it's actually Leonardo DiCaprio. Look at that boat. What happened? Holy moly. What just happened? I don't understand. It's like the boat was like that. Uh, sideway. Oh my goodness. That is so creepy. Is that an octopus? Did a sea monster got upgraded? Oh my gosh. That was extremely horrifying. Look at that. It's just like sticking out. Is that like the arms? Or is that worms that's sticking out? Oh, oh, ew, 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 ew. Do I, should I go near to it? All right, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a going to make a very fully big mistakes, but I'm going to go for it. What is this? Uh, I'm gonna have to actually go into it. Hello? I'm actually going near to it. Anything gonna happen? Oh, uh, I'm out. Do I have to go into it? Oh my goodness. I can actually go into the mouth. Oh my goodness. I can get, I can, I, I get it. It's kind of a bit horrifying. Uh, where am I now? Oh my god. What is this? Are you still alive? Well, I mean, in the movie, he needs to cut up his arm, but not both of them. But this one is extremely out of context. What should I do? There's no, like, um, crouch button. Oh gosh, oh gosh, what is that? A spider? Or is that hand spider? What am I supposed to do? Uh... Okay, that was creepy. What is, who's that? Is that Dr. Zombas? Am I in the underworld? Everything gone red. Everything in nightmare mode. I, I better get out of here. Help me. It feels like I'm in an asylum. Whoa. 
what was that? Was it you? What even are you? You just turned your back, like I'm such a target. As far as I know, there's no one there in that room. And you feel very, and you felt concerned about it. Okay, it looks like a dead end, but it leads us to another level. It is kind of creepy. All right, before I get in, let's check the outer side. Let's see what's anything so suspicious. Okay, is this a normal house? Living in a uh, very lonely universe. This house is very... Okay, I'm not gonna go there yet. Whew. Take a name breaths and then take out it easily. No need to worry. It's just... Blood. Wait, who is this? Did you actually kill him? Who is this man? Do I know this guy? He's wearing the... What shirt is that? It's like that one character that I know, but I don't know. I'm not sure. It's a bit familiar. Before I check on you, you have a samurai sword. Let's go up. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. I, I, can I borrow your sword or your gun? Take it. Take it. I know you're still crying, but let's take the shotgun. No, I cannot take the shotgun. Okay, I have to face my fear against this man. This porcupine man. Porcupine. Do you are actually the one who did all of this, huh? I'm right here. Can't you see I'm right here? Hello? I'm right here. I'm right here. You did not see me. What the world? He just minding his own business, I guess. We're back at an endangered zone. Everything goes back to normal. There's no more dead body on there. Sora reminds me of. Silent Insanity P.E by Poison Games. Once you go to the middle level, some weird things happened. But then at the end, it goes back to normal. But instead, in the final level of that game, it did not actually end up very good like this one. Look, our boat is now very fancy. Why fancier than, than before? And now we're getting out. It's like we're thinking from the, we're thinking in the past or in the future. Someone been looking for me? <gasps> the porcupine man. I'm not sure who you are, but I got the picture. Oh, oh, oh. I think that's the enemy that we have to face against in the sequel. Because I feel like Francisco sure did the sequel in the next part in the next video so yeah anyway thanks for watching this video oh just get up from the game quickly so this is me playing mind in despair it was quite a short game i quite believe now let's check the whole thing here about the game and it was very kind of like silent insanity oh yeah i forgot to turn on the connections because you know dealing with the ads is such a inconvenient and we're going to try out to check out some more games that mr silver made and there are some there's one more that we haven't played forsake the asylum so that will be the next part that we're going to play next this is the one that we played before so it has been created in January 14, well, for this country, I don't know if about the real one, maybe it would be like one day 
earlier than this one, you wonder if it's real. You're trying to get out of a strange place, but can't imagine what lies ahead. So this has something to do with our mind. Basically the title game. So yeah, uh, so I guess that's all. Um, let's just rate the game. This great the game five stars. This game is absolutely, absolutely horrific. Sort of reminds me of. Oh, well, sort of reminds me of. Um, Silent Insanity. Truly awesome horror game that. Brings me, bring me bit of some references. Smiley face. There you go. Post that up. Pretty sure he know what I mean. So yeah. So I guess that's it for Mind in Despair Horror Game. We're going to try out the other game that made by Enoch's game. Forsake the Asylum in the next video. So it would be only this short. So anyway, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in another horror games. Bye bye. I'll be watching you. Oh, so adorable. <laughs>